How you going guys? Dean from Blog for the Blood God here. I've got my friend Jack with me tonight and we're going to be doing an unboxing slash review of the new kits that combine to make the Chaos Dreadhole, the ones that have just been released for Age of Sigma. So I've got with me tonight the uh, Malefic Gate, the Overlord Bastion, and the Skull Keep. So I'm going to be ripping open these boxes, showing you guys the bits and pieces that are inside them, uh, getting some close-ups on the details, getting some size comparison, and uh, yeah, those sorts of things. So without further ado, I'm going to open the Skull Keep first, and uh, we'll take it from there. Alrighty, so the first kit we're going to open up is the Skull Keep. So first we'll have a look at the box. So, nice close-up of the box there for you. The side of the box here, Skull Keep. Back of the box. <clears throat> it's got the suggested paints down the bottom there. And then the other side of the box. Nothing too exciting there. Oh, hang on, I just gotta uh, get into it. Alrighty, so on the inside we have sprues and instructions. Oops, I've just tore those, so we're off to a great start. Looks like pretty straightforward instructions. But, who cares about that? This is what we want to see. So you got some uh, excellent detail on the skulls there. Don't ask me how they got them all facing up. Somebody must have intricately placed them when they built this... Oh, what's this one called? The Skull Keep? <laughs> Somehow I don't see the followers of Corn going, Ah, you put that one skull facing down, you dickhead. <laughs> For whatever. Um, then we've got some intricate artwork here. This must be one of the walls. Oh, yeah, this is the bottom. So that's your um, that's your door on ground level. And that's your uh, that must be one of the other walls. Then you've got this piece here, which is the, uh, if I'm not mistaken, that's the landing that comes out from the door. Then you've obviously got your roof on the top there, and then there's a door piece that would fit in here. That's our first sprue. Second sprue. Oh, so hang on. The, the back of these is just all crappy, because that's obviously the inside of the wall. Uh, then you've got this is your these must be your uh, battlements. They're the bits that go on the very top of the building. So you've got a few of those on here. They're all oh no, they're not all identical. This one's slightly different. They're all slightly different. They've all got a, the center piece on each one of them is a different skull. Oh, actually, geez, they're all different skulls. Every piece, every every one of these central skulls is different. That's pretty cool. I would have thought that they would have just cut and pasted the same design, but they've actually mixed it up a bit. And then this, this got double-sided, because obviously these bits being on the top, you're going to see the back of them as well. I really like that they went with a textured feel to them, instead of just making them flat and plain, like the uh, bastions and stuff like that. They've really made them nice and chaosy with the you know, little cracks and bits and pieces in them. Next piece we've got... It's another another roof piece. So this piece is slightly different to the previous piece. It's uh <clears throat> same size, but it's got these little edgy bits on it. Not 100 percent sure what they're for. And then you've got an alternate door and a nice big section of wall there. Uh, then the next piece is another door. So there's lots of doors on this thing. Yeah, there's lots of doors on this thing, which is cool because that means you don't have to, you know, run around it to try and enter it. Uh, you got some spines here, which I believe they go go up the sides on the, on the corners. Yep, they're your corn pieces, and then another section of wall. So I'm assuming that these two big sections of wall are going to be the same height as the doors. So that's the bottom floor. We'll have two sections of wall and two doors. Uh, then we've got these pieces here, which are the the big spiky bits that go on the top, and you can see those spikes are fucking long. That's like a good six inches worth of just spike and skull. So these are going to be really tall buildings. Like, by the looks of it, they're probably going to be... 
Yeah, I reckon they're probably going to be 12 to 18 inches tall. And uh, this is your last sprue here, so it's got another six, another three spines on it, so that gives you a total of six spines and another piece of wall there. So that is a look at the skull keep. So uh, now I'm going to pop that back in its box and I'll pull out the Malefic Gate. Alrighty, time to unbox the Malefic Gate. Now from what I've seen in the pictures, I think this is going to be my favourite kit. <coughs> um, so you've got, there's the front of the box there, Age of Sigma. It's got a picture of the just the starter models from the Age of Sigma kit mounted on it. Side of the box, it's got the picture of the gate opened. Back of the box, it's got a picture sort of from behind the gate. You can see that the gate opens in here. So you can see that on the back of the gates, there's a, wall, a walkway that obviously lines up when it's closed, so you can walk along. Or if it's open, obviously, you can't get in there. Now, I believe that this is going to be hinged so that you can build it so that it can be open or closed or, you know, movable. So during games, you can, you can mix it up, which could make some pretty cool... Uh, interesting games because you could have like a switch halfway down the board and that's which opens the gate on the other side of the board and things like that if you wanted to do some more narrative kind of stuff and then we've got that's the other side of the box there now this one I actually opened this one earlier today just to have a quick look at it <clears throat> and I couldn't figure out how to get all the sprues back in the freaking box oh, and now they're really crammed in there What have I done? Sorry guys. Here we go. Sprues! Fuck, and there's a lot of sprues in this guy. Alrighty, so let's have a look at this first one. So it's another floor piece, which again, exceptional detail on the skulls there. But you'll notice that every single one of them is facing up. I love that because it gives it really good detail and texture instead of having like just round blobs on there. <laughs> I think it's a little silly because how the fuck do they get them all facing up? Uh, anyway, um, now if I'm not mistaken, these are, this sprue here is one of the wall sections. So I believe the walls are a combination of these two sprues because the gate comes with two wall sections and a gate. <coughs> um... But as you can see, that's massive. Like that circle in the middle there, that's almost, say, a Dreadnought-sized base. So you could fit pretty much anything on that. That's huge. You could fit a tank on that. Let's go. I'll grab an Elder. I've got a Grav Tank with me, an Elder Grav Tank. Let's use this bad boy for scale. So there's your Bastion piece. And there's your... So you fit a tanks on this thing. So it's not, it's a bigger than a bastion. Actually, I've got a bastion here. Why wouldn't I just use that? That was silly. I should have gone for here first. So there's the top of a bastion. And there's your top of this thing. So it's much bigger than a bastion. Much bigger. Not good, probably not as tall, but a uh, much bigger surface area. And that's probably what's more important to me because that way you can fit like a Bloodthirster on there or a Mauler Fiend or something on there without having the base all on stupid angles and shit. So I think that's cool. So that's one sprue. Then we've got this sprue here, which is going to be your wall. And if you have a close look at that, there's nice details. There's some skulls cracking through there. There's fucking skulls all the way along in these cracks here. God, I'm going to have to sit down and count how many skulls are actually on this fucking kit. It'll be in the thousands easily. Uh, then we've got fucking dogs making noise. Uh, then we've got this piece here, which I believe this is going to be part of the gate. And we've got some cool skulls on the side here. More spikes. Spikes are always good. Some nicely stacked skulls there, quite the collection. So I think this is going to look fantastic for my corn army because... There's so many fucking skulls on here. I mean, it's going to work for all Chaos Armies, but particularly corn. And that's one of the, uh, the pieces off the side of the gate. That'll be like the, uh, yeah, the top. 
<coughs> then we got that's going to be another pretty much exactly the same sprue, same piece. Uh, we've seen this sprue before. We've pretty much seen this sprue before. So it looks like there's a lot of repetitive sprues in this kit because it's symmetrical. Uh, then this, I believe these pieces here combine to make the bridge that allows you to connect uh, multiple bastions or whatever they're called, walls. So you can put, so you, you put your skull keep and then use this bridge to connect your skull keep to your gate or your bastion or whatever. And then uh, we've got some fancy looking skulls here, nice big skulls. I'd like to see what somebody could do with this kit in, you know, maybe replacing a Mauler Fiend head with like one of these heads or something. I haven't checked the scale of that obviously, but I think there's a lot of potential in these for bits, for just cool conversions. Um, next bit. Whoop. I'd actually like to see, I uh, dare someone to do this, Heldrake wings. <laughs> Imagine that, all those fucking skulls is a Heldrake wing, that'd be intense. <laughs> oh, I really want to do that now. But yeah, so there's your other bits there. And then we've got another another wall. So that's the floor of the wall, if it's not immediately obvious. And then there's all these little skull dudes here. And there's this cool skull right in the center there with the mark of chaos on it. I'll probably grind that off and stick a mark of corn on there, because you know, why not? But yes, so that is the gate. So now, lucky last, we'll do the Overlord Bastion. Alrighty, last but not least, we have the Overlord Bastion. So this is the biggest box of the three. The biggest, most expensive kit. Which is, uh, by the looks of it, it's a... Shut up, cat. It's essentially a uh, taller... Sorry, I'm out of the video here. It's a taller version of the skull keep with a separate battlement that comes off the side here as well so it's got an extended floor there like an extra level and an extra bit coming off the side there and also at the top of the box you can see that this one also comes with a ladder uh, staircase which will lead you up onto that platform uh, so yeah that's your front of your box side of the box which shows that also shows the bridge there on how you can connect it to another piece which is kind of cool. And then you get back, that's, that's a really good picture of it to show you sort of a bird's eye almost of how it can work. Again, they've all got your painting recommendations obviously because they want to sell some paint. <coughs> and there's the other side of the box. So let's crack this bad boy open and have a look at the third kit. This is the, definitely the biggest kit of the three. But let's have a look and see if we can find anything we haven't seen yet. Oh god, I can't even stack the freaking sprues, there's that many of them. <coughs> Alright. So we've got this piece. That's new. This big screamy guy. Uh, obviously because it's the Overlord Bastion, there's going to be a few bit more fancy pieces on there. So that's a nice big... Uh, piece for the uh, sort of make it the centerpiece for your kit. <clears throat> then these, I believe these pieces are the additional ones. So they just sort of prop it up so that it's that one floor taller. Then we've got uh, your rooftop, uh, the doors, and the landing, which are, if I'm not mistaken, they are the same as this sprue which is from the uh yeah they're identical which is from the um skull keep so that's the same sprue from the skull keep then we've got well you get two of those in here <clears throat> then you get this nice big floor piece which is bigger than Oh no. So that sprue is the same as the floor piece. So that's just a normal, 
I think they call it a wall. Ooh, I've, that's the only kit I didn't haven't got yet. I haven't got my hands on it yet. Uh, but yeah, that's the same as the floor piece. Then you've got your same battlements. They're the ones that I was talking about, how every face on them is different. And now that I look a little bit closer, there is. Guys, that last video, apparently I reached the maximum recording size for my camera. So I'm just going to have to attach these two together. So if there's a bit missing there in the middle, I apologize. <clears throat> uh, so this sprue here, you've got, um, I was saying how in the earlier part of this video, I commented on how they were all different skulls. So I can kind of get the camera to focus. Here we go. Um, whereas it's actually like that one there. And this one here are the same, but in the the uh, line of three, they're all different. Just a couple of the individual skulls have been repeated. <clears throat> uh, then we got a wall, same wall as before. Another wall, same as before. We've seen those before. Um, another wall, which we've seen before. Is there anything new in this kit? That looks new. Yeah, so I think that's that goes together with the other stuff we saw that props it up to make it a bit taller. That's the new floor, the new level, I should say. Uh, then we've got the staircase, which is all one solid piece, which I'm happy about. And then your the sides of the stairs, which prop it up. And another piece of roof. So it's got actually got quite a few pieces of roof. I wonder why. Oh, I guess I'll have to start building it to figure it out. And then these guys, which I love. They're the big fucking six inch spikes. Which would look awesome coming out the front of like a fucking rhino or something. So we'll see if I have any spare bits left over after I build these. We'll see how we go. Because I'm actually going to build a uh, full display board for my army, which is going to have these like as a backdrop. I'm going to build this big epic castle in the background. And my army will sit on front of it. In front of it. Uh, so yeah, so that's the Skull Keep, the Malefic Gate, and the Overlord Bastion. Um, I will be doing, as I assemble them, I'll be doing a lot of updates on my blog. So head over to Facebook and just search for Blog for the Blood God, and uh, you'll find me. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. For the blood god.